The beautiful stretch of weather continues today, tomorrow, and into part of the weekend. And then we keep around some warm, sunny weather, so that's good in the next week. But the heat and humidity will be cranked up. That's what I'm tracking right now in these weather headlines. Again, as I just mentioned, that nice stretch continuing for today and tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. There may be a shower on Saturday or a thunderstorm. Certainly not a washout. No need to cancel plans right now, but this is something we need to watch. And then very warm, very humid by the end of the weekend into next week. Some locations near 90 will put up those very warm temperatures on the seven day future cast at the conclusion of this weather presentation. Nothing to track in terms of severe weather on the eyewitness news threat tracker. We keep you in the low category for today, tomorrow and on into Saturday. Now let's track those temperatures 2 p.m. Low to mid 80s inland for places like Providence Johnston out into East Providence Seekonk at the coast upper 70s to low 80s. We've had a land breeze going for a good part of the day, but that will start to change around and pull some of these coastal temperatures back into the 70s. 8 p.m. just after kickoff at Gillette. We're in the low 70s. Very pleasant. Now notice by 1130 or so when you're filing out of the game temperatures into the mid to upper 60s. So the long sleeve shirt, maybe the Pat sweatshirt, not necessarily a bad thing to take along with you. It's not going to be super cold, but things cooling off just a tad by the end of the game with a light wind. It will be a beautiful evening out there at Gillette. And then tomorrow morning, similar to today, some upper 50s to low 60s, a very comfortable night for sleeping ahead. And that's because the humidity continues to stay relatively low. Right now, dew points in the low 60s. That's not too bad, a little sticky at the coast at times, but really not um, unbearable for this time of year. Tomorrow into the 50s we go, so even a bit more comfortable. And then Saturday, notice that humidity starts to come back up and it rises even more on Sunday into Monday. Now we have a few fair weather clouds out over Oakland Beach. This is a view from Warwick. Same thing in the capital city. Just a few of those clouds looking kind of pretty against the background of the blue sky. It looks like a bird just flew by as well. Maybe it was a bug. I'm not sure. Providence at 79, Gloucester 74, Westerly 79, New Bedford at 80 degrees. And those breezes out of the southwest New Bedford, when you get that southerly component, that is a sign that the winds are starting to turn a bit from that onshore flow. So if you're at the beach or plan to go there, maybe sliding down another few degrees into the afternoon, but certainly great conditions at the shore. A little disturbance nosing in from the north and west, producing a few showers here in upstate New York. We may get uh, grazed by this today, but pretty much all we'll see from that will be the clouds. You can see that on our future cast mode represented by the white. Now this is around midnight. Notice the mostly clear skies. Now why am I focusing on cloud cover at midnight? I don't often really put a lot of time into that. Well, that's because you have another opportunity to view the Perseid meteor shower tonight. Now we're past the peak. The peak was this morning. It may not be quite as good for viewing, but there's still a chance. And if you do get a picture or a video, you can go ahead to send it. You can go ahead and send it to that email address. Report it at WPRI.com and potentially we'll show it on the air. Seven day future cast brings it a warm one tomorrow. Another beautiful day, low humidity. Saturday humidity increases with a chance of some isolated showers or thunderstorms. But here's the headline of Saturday. Most of the day is dry. Sunday is warm and humid. 87 your high temperature. Monday, Tuesday, I have highs in the upper 80s. There may be some locations, especially inland, that get into the 90s, and that will be with a high level of humidity. So those air conditioners will be going strong by the time we get to next week. But a beautiful stretch of weather to enjoy, Danielle, for today and tomorrow. All right, sounds great. Thanks, Pete. Now here's a look at what we're working on starting live at 5 tonight. It's Tom Brady.